All right, good morning everybody. It's your boy Akeem and welcome to today's vlogs. Continuing with my Big Ten previews for the 2016 college football season. And I'm going to move things forward with the West Division, continuing things with the Iowa Hawkeyes. Now last season, head coach Kurt Ferentz did a great job earning Big Ten Coach of the Year honors due to leading this team to a 12-2 record and appearance in the Rose Bowl. They came close in the Big Ten Championship just barely losing to the Michigan State Spartans 16 to 13 but they got trounced in the Rose Bowl against the Stanford Cardinals 45 to 16 that wasn't a good game for them and they're looking to make it back to at least another Big Ten Championship representing the West Division now let's talk about quarterback CJ Brethard who was actually earned on um, second team all Big Ten honors at quarterback and it was actually quietly deserved he had 2800 yards passing last season 17 touchdown passes to just five interceptions now he does run the pro style offense which does have that which has caught nfl scouts attention but we're looking for more productivity and better accuracy of him at quarterback he shows the mobility and the arm strength that we do like but i'm looking to see a better productive year as a senior for cj and he does have a couple of decent running backs behind him with Sean Daniels Jr. and Akron Wadley, who's actually been split in time during last season to replace our running back uh, Jordan Kanzari. Kanzari actually led the team in rushing, but then had a um, leg injury and he was missing out. And LaShawn Daniels and Wadley did step it up at running back. I think this could be a little quiet tandem in the Big Ten Conference at running back. And he does have the return of wide receiver and Matt Vandenberg, the top wide receiver uh, for this team. So CJ. Brethard is going to be looking towards him in his direction many times. I think that Vandenberg can earn all Big Ten honors at the end of this season, despite the fact being honorable mention last year. Now, the thing that carried this team was the defense, and they were actually led by um, a couple of great linebackers. First, Joey um, uh, uh, Josie Jewell, who had 93 tackles, four interceptions, and six pass breaks. This shows that his ability to not only make a couple some tackles, but he also has shown his cover skills, which is a good thing for me for him to look at for the 2017 NFL Draft. And they also have another good linebacker and in, in, in Ben uh, Neiman. They've been doing a great job with the linebacking court of that defense. Now, they do have their All-American and Jim Thorpe Award winner in um, Desmond um, King, who had 18 interceptions, eight interceptions last season and um, second in the Big Ten. Um, second in the nation behind uh, uh, Northern Illinois' Sean Larry. But I think this is a great um, player. He could have went to the 2016 NFL Draft, but he definitely decided to stay with his team, committed to his team, sold his, showed his loyalty, which I do like a, like a lot about Desmond King. He's definitely a great prospect for 2017 NFL Draft. And the in, in interior line is Jalen uh, Johnson. has been doing a good job last season. Three and a half sacks with over uh, 40... Um, with over 30 tackles last season at the defensive tackle position. Now, this defense has been carrying this team together. It's all resting the shoulders of C.J. Brethard. He needs to do a better job as far as his accuracy and his productivity, and I think he has the capability of doing so. Now, if you take a look at their schedule, I think this team could pull another 10-win season. I think they will win the first four games. The first tough game is going to be October 1st against Northwestern for their homecoming. I think they have the capability of winning that. The next game they need to worry about is October 22nd against Wisconsin, uh, Wisconsin, another 10-win team, and then they have uh, November 12th against Michigan, and then wrap things up at the end of the year is November 25th against Nebraska. That's a home game as well. They don't really have any tough games on the road. All the four of the games that I mentioned are at home, and I think this team will pull an 11-1 season of the regular season and making it back to the Big Ten Championship chip to the face of the representative of the east and i will talk about that later on today now the next time i'm going to catch you guys will be in just a couple minutes i have many more blogs for today thank you for watching this blog i'm your man keem mccall be easy